Yo, what's going on guys? Savage here. Today I've got a very hopeless game to show you guys. Um, different mistakes that I have made uh, throughout this entire game. This game was a really bad game for me. Um, different mistakes that, well, my, my teammate didn't really play bad. They made one little mistake, but we'll point that out. But the enemies, the mistakes the enemies were making uh, were definitely detrimental to us getting as far as we did with as shitty as loot as we had um, in bad positioning. But this video right here is mainly going to be about how to get better positioning when you have shit positioning. But guys, before we get into it, subscribe to the channel, join the Wolfpack today, leave a like on the video, let's get this video to 200 likes, and follow us over on Twitch, where we stream there five days a week. But guys, without further ado, let's dive into this. Alright guys, so if you've been playing this game a lot lately, you've realized um, over the past week or so that everyone has kind of caught on to going for bounties and objectives and things like that, especially off the dump. Um, I think every time that I go to a search bounty now, right out of the plane, I'm usually greeted by three or four other teams. But nonetheless, we're going to try to go for objectives no matter what. Um, of course, I land in and, you know, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's if it's a game or my keyboard, but I swear to God, sometimes I hit the space bar and it just has a delay. I break my legs in this game more than I do anything else. I, I'm pretty sure, which is absolutely crazy. All right. Well, luckily, we're playing duos and I have a teammate there to carry me, uh, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab loot. Again, guys, you wanna keep your looting to a minimum. Even if you're not doing objectives, you always wanna loot to the bare minimum. Uh, just grab your necessities, a primary, a secondary, maybe a deadly, some ammo, um, some plates if possible, and also whatever money's laying around. But guys, like I always try to tell you guys, stay somewhere near your teammates. You don't have to be up your teammates, but you don't have to be holding their pockets, but you definitely wanna remain somewhat close. That way, if one person gets in a fight, you can help them out. Now here, my teammate calls out an enemy jumping from a rooftop to rooftop. I get a couple shots off, crack his armor, but I can't solidify the kill. So when it comes to these buildings, guys, I always recommend you and a teammate push from both ends, especially if it's only one target. All right, so we're assuming that the enemy's still up here. So I'm going to take some shots, um, just random shots, just to, if the enemy's up here, just to distract him to my side while my teammate goes up the other one. Um, but fortunately, there was no one up here. And when I do finally get to the roof, I do spot the target on another roof. Now, the enemy, how he played that wrong... Well, I mean, his just position. This position right here is absolute ass. You have a rooftop in front of you. You have a rooftop behind you. You even have a rooftop and a fire tower um, to his left. And he's just surrounded by nothing but high ground. Guys, if you're going to sit on a rooftop, make sure, as I always say, that you're on the tip top of all rooftops around. There's no sense of being on a rooftop and there's other rooftops that are higher than you because not only are you going to have to worry about the targets under you shooting at you, but if there's people on the roofs behind you, um, you're also bone in that aspect as well. So guys, if you're going to sit on a roof, um, absolutely take the highest one that's in the area. But now that we won the fight, we're gonna make our way out of the compound and we're gonna get to the closest buy station, get our load out as fast as possible. I think if I'm not mistaken, now this is chopped up and cut and edited, but I'm pretty sure we're at the five minute mark of the match. Um, there's still 90 people alive, not to mention those that are in the gulag. And if jailbreak should happen, um, we'll have to worry about those guys. Now we do spot people on the UAV. So as you can see, I'm gonna climb to the top of fire tower and push some shots down the enemy team. So since I crack his armor and I know that that's the most wanted bounty, I'm assuming his duo partner is not alive and that's why he's got the bounty. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to 1v1 challenge him. And of course, I guess he didn't have any plates because he was an easy kill. Now there's another team that's close by hunting down the same bounty. Remember guys, if you're going for most wanted, you're not the only team that sees them on the map. Everybody around sees them. So be ready when you're fighting the bounty or you kill the bounty, be ready to have other teams converge on you. And that's exactly what happens here. Um, as you can see, me and my teammate, we're not right next to each other. We're separated a little bit. That way, if we get shot at from one angle, um, my other teammate can cover the other angle. That way, we can both put pressure on the enemy. Um, but now that we got a little bit more money, we're going to make our way back to the buy station. Um, you always want to constantly keep incurring money. And when you do have that money, use it, use it, use it. Guys, there's no reason to sit on your money. I see a lot of times, a lot of players that I spectate will run right next to a buy station. And they'll just pass that shit up and not even purchase the UAV if they have money. Sometimes they like to save their money and this and that. But guys, if you hold on to your money trying to wait so you can get a self-revive or trying to wait so you can get an armor stash, um, it's just not worth it. Because if you die, you're going to lose that on that money. And if you would have bought a UAV, you might have possibly prevented that death. So always spend your money, guys, and just plan on getting more later on. Now, because we have that UAV in the air now, instead of saving and hoarding our money, we do spot two enemies on the bank top. So, of course, like I always say, guys, get the highest roof on the map always go for the highest point. So I'm going to get the highest point. I'm going to come up on this enemy slowly, just in case they're on the next rooftop or have repositioned. Now that the UAV's away, I'm going to play a little bit more passive, just in case these guys caught on to us and realize we were coming. The last thing you want to do is set yourself up to run into a trap. 
Um, this guy, unfortunately, just comes up top. I don't even think he realized we were here. So look, we don't know where the duo is. We have no idea if that guy had self for us and we just ended up executing because of that um, or if he does have a duo teammate up. So we're going to go ahead and clear the building, guys. Look, I don't like wasting time clearing buildings, but if I have a good instinct and I feel like the guy we just killed has a teammate nearby, I want to go ahead and clear out anything behind me. That way, when I do hightail and run out of there, I don't get shot in the back. But now that we got it cleared, we're going to go ahead. You know, we're still mind blown. We have no idea what that second guy was. We're going to go ahead and get our ghost class again, guys um don't waste your time grab the ghost class because if people start catching on to the uav game you'll be caught out in the open without ghosts all right guys like i always say you want to stay on the move i see a lot of people a lot of people and i spectate a lot of people i see a lot of people freaking sitting up and they're holding down like a compound and they don't want to leave that area um they'll sit in one two houses they'll rotate around the area and they'll just wait for people to come to them guys if you're wondering why you're not getting high kill gameplays if you're only getting you know two three four maybe five kills uh, a game at best it's probably because you're not moving around enough. Guys, utilize UAVs. Always go from compound to compound. Never stay in one area for more than I say, I don't know, two minutes tops. And that's if you're in a fight. If no one's around, you should be in and out of compounds like nobody's business. Um, but as you see, guys, whenever I'm in promenade or any other like massive area where there's massive amount of buildings and rooftops, I'm going to always try to get on the high ground. Um, I'm a sniper at heart, so I always want the best position. I always want the highest point on the map that way. I have the advantage now this is a perfect example of the strategy i always try to tell you guys if you guys are in the middle of a fight this enemy right here he peeked me on that corner he shredded my armor i changed my position because well that's what you're supposed to do but he did not he re-peeked that exact same corner and i was there waiting for him guys if you're in a fight and you have to bail from that fight or back off and replay it up and heal up you might as well change your position because as soon as you peek again you're going to get blitzed Gunfights like this too, you want to utilize your slides, you want to make sure you're always on the move, and you want to be able to, as well as drop shots. Like this situation right here, this guy couldn't even track me fast enough because I was sliding to his left. He was sitting there trying to track, but I guess the sensitivity was too low and he just couldn't catch up with me. When it comes to sensitivity, too high of a sensitivity is really hard for people to aim and have precision, but too low is really, really a hindrance on tracking. That's why it takes a lot of practice to find the right balance for you. All right, right now we're going to try to rotate along the edge of the circle. Um, there's a lot of people that say go counterclockwise, go clockwise, but at the end of the day, just go where you hear shots or if there's an objective or if there's a buy, just go whichever way goes to your heart. There's no certain like rotation speed that you need to do at some certain angle and some kind of clockwise, counterclockwise bullshit. Um, it's just RNG luck, guys. So like I say, always try to keep your eye on the prize. Go for buys if you have the money, go for objectives if you need the money and go towards the gunshots if you want the kills. All right, so we both buy self reses. Now we're just going to slowly rotate with the circle and find out where the next circle is going to be at. If you notice on the map, we're on the very south side of the circle. I'm waiting to see which way the circle rotates before I make a full push in anywhere. But guys, remember, don't be afraid to run in the open too, guys. You want to stay in your cover, but don't stop yourself from going to point A to point B because there's no cover. I always say, guys, always try to cross with cover, always utilize concealment, things like that. And that's true, but don't abandon an entire area because there's no cover. Just kind of run across serpentine slide cancel things like that to get yourself across the field faster and safer all right guys so we hear gunshots over here by a fire station um but there ended up being a fight inside this building here i don't really know what this building's called all right so people have been asking me like how, how do i clear buildings how do i play patiently and things like that instead of just running into my death um this is a perfect example right here so i'm going to be inside um i guess the stock area the kitchen i'm going to be trying to sound horn using my heartbeat sensor to find this enemy um meanwhile my teammate is on the other side of the building and hopefully create a position to where we're basically sandwiching the guy. And that's exactly what happens. He ends up running away from Lydia uh, and runs right into me and I get the easy kill. There's a perfect balance between pushing a building and being aggressive and, and surprise and shock and all, and also finessing. Sometimes you just need to move a little bit slower to get the play done. All right, in this situation, we know there's an enemy at fire station. I'm using my heartbeat. So clearly the guy's got ghost on. As you can see, I'm keeping myself around the tree lines and around cover. Unfortunately, Lydia just kind of tries to challenge him in the middle of the open. Um, I guess she had a rock next to her. Maybe she's just trying to get a, a wider flank peek on it. I'm not sure, but you want to try to keep yourself in your cover if possible. Of course, some fights, again, don't avoid a fight because there's no cover, but if there is cover nearby, try to keep your body next to it. So if you do take shots, you can pop behind it, get some health off, get your plates off to regain and get back in the fight. All right, so now we know we have to move to the Northwest to get safe. We have to make our way to Boneyard, but instead of just making a straight beeline to Boneyard, we're gonna kind of try to hit the edge of train station and gatekeep anybody making their way out because everyone who's over in Promenade and train station right now, we've all got to move. 
And if you've been on this map more than a couple of times, you know damn well that it's going to be popping over at train station. So we're going to try to clear out anything we can. Um, also, guys, you see these helicopters flying around? Make sure if you see tracers and you're trying to go hunting, make sure you follow those tracers to whatever source they're coming from and, and take them out. Um, we've got we get a lot of kills like that baiting the choppers and waiting for people and that's exactly what happens right here two guys are so focused on these choppers instead of them rotating and getting better position they're just trying to get some loot down and we're going to go ahead and 2v2 these guys and absolutely annihilate them they just don't stand a chance um as you can see they had their loadout they had gas masks they had streaks they had everything they needed i don't understand what they were trying to get out of these helicopters that was so important guys don't let the loot and the choppers distract you from the fact that if it's in game and you have everything you need you don't need the loot. Um, those guys messed up there and they sacrificed their life for it. Now, again, guys, remember, there's gonna be a lot of people train stations. So just because you finish one fight, be ready for another. And that's exactly what happens here. All right. So in this fight, I love the enemy's head glitch. This guy has got probably the best head glitch. If you're ever around this area and you get in a situation like this, make sure you utilize these little walls as a perfect head glitch because it's, it's probably the best height out of anything on the map. All right, so my plan with this was I knew I was dead. I knew she was dead. So I was going to go ahead and try to get a lucky shot. So I wasted my kill streak just to see if I can get one knocked and maybe kill the other one with my Grawl. Um, I get one cracked with my Grawl. Meanwhile, my teammate self res and this is a real last ditch effort. And we did a pretty good job. Lydia ended up getting one of the kills, um, but her and myself did ultimately get sent back to the Gulag. So as you can see, while I'm in the Gulag waiting, I'm planning out. I'm pulling up the map. I'm getting a game plan in my head of where I want to go, how I want to play this and hopefully win this game. We're in a very, very unfortunate position. There's 22 people left on the map. There's 12 enemy teams remaining. So we're basically in game. And now we're having to come back in with nothing but a pistol. But guys, no matter how bleak it looks, remember, you can always shake back. We've come back from worse things. All right, awesome. So now that the gulag made me waste two and a half minutes of my life. All right, so at this point, I'm just floating. I'm waiting for Liddy to get out the gulag. That way we can see what our game plan is going to be. Um, and then we can hopefully land together and land on somebody and get a kill. Um, basically i'm not wanting to land by myself because if i do fall into a 1v1 and they have great guns or i fall into a 1v2 and they both have great guns um i i don't stand that big of a chance of surviving no matter how good i am so hopefully me and my teammate can land together get a kill get some loot and get going that's the whole game plan that's why i'm floating and waiting for her to come out um now we have a game plan we marked a search bounty now with the search objectives you gotta be really careful especially in game i repeat a lot of people like to bait the search and boy did i found out the hard way this guy's literally laying prone on the search laying prone waiting for anybody to come to him smart play but goddamn is a cheap shot what should we have done in this situation looking back at the map and trying to get a better game plan i think that was one of our best options now when i flew in i initially didn't pay attention to him laying down looking back i saw him laying next to the search but at the time i didn't um, if I would have paid a little bit more attention and looked for somebody camping it, I probably would have landed on that little, I guess that lip above them, that little rooftop right next to them. I'm going to shot down on them and kill them. Then that would have been a little bit better of a play. But there were two teams over there, so we probably wouldn't have survived regardless. If we would have went and set out a compound and waited for somebody to come by, we probably would have gotten killed. You just really can't outshoot much with a pistol. But guys, we ultimately lost the game. However, we did learn something from it. Don't fall for the objectives. Get ready for them to be camped out. Guys, even when things look bleak and you kind of know you lost the game, always try to full sin and get the best out of it. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one, boys. Yo, what is going on, guys? Savage here. I really hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm going to keep putting these things out as much as I can. I'm hoping to put myself in different situations and come up with different gunfights. That way I can kind of give you more of a variety of what to do and what not to do. Instead of this the same old, this is where I land. This is what you do. You know what I mean? So guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, leave a like on the video and follow us over on Twitch. Till next time, guys, good luck in Warzone.